Hey guys, Mark from DiggyDavits.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do an install on our undermount drop down davit system. So I'm going to take you through the whole process. This is just a makeshift platform we made out of plywood just to make it easy for us to show you exactly how to install it and uh, give you a, a good view of what we're doing. So let's get started. It's going to come in this fancy box here. I'm going to open that with care because I don't want to scratch anything underneath it. It does come with step-by-step -step -step instructions. This is a starboard or a seaboard, whatever you want to call it. It's what, they, what boats uh, manufacturers use to make transom doors and that kind of stuff. It's, it's pretty hardy stuff. It's UV resistant, yada yada. Um, all right, so this is gonna come pretty much pre-assembled. I'll tilt that up so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. Put these aside. Here's the dab itself right here. So this is going to get mounted under a platform like so. So let's get this mounted up a little bit better. Use this so we don't scratch our platform, our beautiful wooden platform. You don't need very many tools for this job. I'll run you through that right now. I'm going to take the camera with me. Couple wrenches, uh, three quarter inch or 19 millimeters, the same. I'm using uh, this little impact drill. This makes things go a little bit quicker. You don't need it though. And a half inch drill, pencil, a little bit of tape. Tim Hortons coffee, very important. So let's uh, let's get started. We're gonna use this and this. All right. So back at it. These are our little angle brackets. So like I said, everything's pretty much pre-assembled. And uh, even the bolts and washers are exactly where they should be. Just to make it easy for you so you don't have to do any guesswork. It's not going to be a box of bolts. So that's going to slide in there like so. I'm going to try not to go too much detail with all this stuff because it is in the instructions and I don't want to take four hours to make this video and bore you to death. So let's get that one on there. This is a great little system because when you're at the beach and you're swimming, you can drop it down underwater and you have nothing to kick your toes on, nothing to store in your boat. Pretty unique, I don't believe there's anything like this out there at the moment. Not yet. So do a quick one on that. Do the same here. We're, we're gonna adjust these after, so this is just a just to get them on for now. All right, so at this point here, you can mount the cradle arms if you want. Um, I would suggest that you do take that bolt out. There is a couple little plastic washers here. You can put those aside for now until we're done our final install. They're going to go between these arms to stop it from sort of rubbing against the, the aluminum. Um, so that, that one's going to go in there like so. 
And the reason why we're doing this is because we've got to mock this up real quick to see where we're going to mount it. We want to make sure there's no clearance issues, there's nothing before you go and make holes in your platform. So, um, once you've determined where you want to put your, your dinghy or your sea do, uh, I use a little piece of tape usually to kind of mark off where it looks good. And then you're going to grab this assembly and slide it under there and make sure that it all makes sense. That basically when you pull this all together, it's going to line up and everything's going to be good. So I'm going to show you what we're looking at underneath here to give you a better idea of what we're doing and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so once again we've decided where we're going to mock this up, where we're going to put it. And you're going to go under your platform and you're going to make sure that you're not going to be hitting anything. Now, as you can tell, our platform here is, it's got this section here that's thicker than this section. And that's where these adjustable legs come into play, where you can line them up, up and down. So we're definitely going to have to lower our front ones here. So let's do that right now. All right, so I got the bolts loose enough that you can actually wiggle this steel, but we can still move it around. So now we're going to place this under there. and determine where this is the right location for it. So once we have that arm in there, we're going to want to make sure that we can rock the, uh, the plastic arm and it's not going to contact the top of the platform. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that right now. That works good. I'm going to show you the clearance we have on top here. So that's sort of what we're looking for there. And uh, like I said, underneath, you know, it gives you a good, good indication of where we need to be. So now, we're going to get started. Alright, so now that we've tested it underneath to make sure that there's nothing in the way and this is all going to make sense, we're going to grab our davit and uh, you're going to want to have some tape with you. We marked the location where we want to mount the davit. And I would suggest grabbing a little bit of tape and covering the bottom of these legs here because uh, we're going to put this on the top of our deck. We don't want to really scratch everything up. All right, now that we have tape on our legs, what we're going to do is reverse this as if we're mounting it on the top of the platform. That's going to give us, we're going to line it up on our mark this way, and then we're going to set it up at the proper distance where we need to be here. Now these legs, if you adjusted them up and down, you're going to have to make them back level to each other. Because you want this to sit flat on the top deck. So we have it sitting on our platform, we have it lined up with our mark there, and the distance that we want to be away from the edge of the platform. Um, you can go a little bit closer than this if you want. You know, let's call that one half inch, we're going to call that good. So this is basically going to be the location where we need to drill our holes. So we're going to leave that on there. Put this back here so I can give you guys a bird's eye view. And we're going to grab our drill with our half inch bit. And a very simple way to do it is to use this as your guide. So we're simply going to line it up, have it tilted, don't press hard on this, let it, let it work its way through. This is wood so it's, it's different than gel coat. Gel coat is kind of a chalky material so you, you definitely don't want to jam it in there and try to dig it right away. Just let it chew its way through. And try to keep your drill as straight as you can of course. There you go, you got a first hole. Now, don't go and drill all four holes right away. Grab one of your anchor bolts and drop it down in place. That's going to ensure that it doesn't move around on you and you don't end up with holes that don't line up. So, after you've done that hole, do the rear corner. Make sure that you're lined up square, exactly where you want to be. And again, throw your hole. Again. Drop another bolt there. 
Um, that one's kind of interfering with the end of the, the bolt, which is fine, as long as it's in a position where it can't move. And then uh, I'm going to fast forward to the rest, but just drill your two other holes. Alright, so we have our holes drilled now. We can take out our carriage bolts. Get them out of the way. And we're ready to, uh, to mount this under the platform. Get rid of our tape. Make sure that's good and clean. Once again, we're going to set these up so you can just barely move them. That one's a bit tight. So do the same with that one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to slide this under the platform and drop in our bolts. We're not going to worry about putting washers and lock washers and all that stuff on for now. Right now we basically just want to put it in place. And I'll explain that in a second why we're going to do it that way. Once we get that on there, grab our nut, spin it on. Alright, we have one in place. Show you what we're gonna do. Now that we have our carriage bolts on here, these ones, like I said, they have no lock nuts. There's nothing on them right now. The reason we're gonna do that is because we're gonna to want to put marine sealant on these here before we actually put the bolts in, because we don't want water to go inside our platform and rot our platform. You're gonna do some 3M 4200 or 5200. That's my preferred product. Uh, really, you can use whatever. If there's, there's another great product that you want to use, and go ahead. I would uh, suggest you don't use a silicone or any kind of weird tube. So you're going to be very liberal with this. Let me show you. You're really going to butter this up. You know, don't don't be shy with the caulking. It's okay to have too much, and I'm even going to put some on to the back side as well. It's going to make a bit of a mess, but that's okay. Better to have more than not enough. Now we can grab our bolt, the carriage bolt, and press it in there. I said it's a bit of a mess to get it in. So once we have our marine caulking in there, we can just push it down. It might be a little tricky to have go perfectly on the bolt hole. You have to loosen everything, go ahead. Basically, we're going to press that down tight. And then we can go and finish up and put our washer, lock washer, and nut on there and tighten that up a little bit. So then we can come across and 
we're gonna wipe all this off with a rag. All right, once we have that bolt tightened, fastened underneath, we can go ahead and wipe all the, PL, uh, the uh, 3M off. Do a good job with this, best you can. And there you go, you have a nice clean install. Here's a view underneath. So you can actually see the marine sealant kind of oozed out the edges here. That's what we want to see. You can wipe that if you'd like. No one's really going to see it, but that's up to you. That bolt does come close to this. Um, so you might have to raise it to get the nut on there. Or you will have to raise it to get the nut on there, but it, it, that's how it lines up when you're all said and done. So we're going to do that for all four bolts. Then we're going to come back and we're going to tighten these. Um, we're going to put quite a bit of force on these. These here, you don't need to hang off it, but you want to put some weight on it. You want it to be nice and snug. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to carry on and do the other three other bolts. And then I'll show you exactly how this all works. Alright guys, so we have our dabbing mounted now. The final step is to put in our little nylon washers on the arm here. And that just stops it from being sort of sloppy and loose. Do you know, are they really necessary? No, but it makes for a much better feel. Hey guys, I'm going to set up the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, we got our bushings, our little washers, I should say. This kit comes with three. You can determine whether you need three or two by placing them in there. This one here seems to work better with two. Um, the plastic sometimes is thicker or thinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in and capture it with this little, this little screwdriver. So I'm going to start off with the other side. The screwdriver in there. Try to get it without dropping it. So I got one side in, then we'll start off with our bolt and push our bolt back through. So the little screwdriver lines up that bushing, the, uh, the washer, sorry. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna slide that in there. Again, grab your little screwdriver to kind of hold it in place. And once you got it there, then you could line it up. Away you go. Painless. Spread that on there. And we can tighten this up. How tight you want to put this is up to you. Um, I just like to, to tighten them up a bit to the point that there's not very much play in that arm. Maybe even a little bit of tension on it. So there's a little bit of tension and that's solid now. There's no jiggling, there's nothing. The only thing that jiggling is our platform. Alright, so now that we have everything assembled, the arms are on. Let's, uh, let's show you how it all works. So to load your dinghy or your sea doo, you tilt that arm, rock it on there, put it down. You can choose to lock this in place. Comes with a little pin, pops right through there, that locks the arm. So if you want to tie your sea doo or your dinghy to the end of these arms here, you can, and not have any ropes to your boat whatsoever. Another option, if, if getting this pin in is too difficult for you, because you sort of kind of have to crawl underneath your dinghy to pop it in, you don't need to put it on. Um, once that arm's on there and there's weight, it doesn't want, it doesn't want to fall down. So if you put your clamp sort of on the edge of your platform or on your cleat and clamp it down, it just physically cannot lift. Um, so those are your, your two options. I personally put the pins in, that's just my, my choice. Now if you don't put the pin in at all, the arm will actually articulate further. So if you want to walk by it and you want to collapse it underwater, you want to leave it like that. I use it for my c spark, um, almost as a, bump, as a bumper because it gets chewed up underneath my platform because it's a plastic sea doo so this sort of acts as a bumper for it so I've been using it quite a bit like this um, and when you want to collapse on the water all you do is pull this little pin here and push it down under and that's it you can go swimming you could uh, walk around your platform there's nothing to hit your toes on nothing to store and when you're ready to use it just reach down Pull it up. You can tie a rope to it if you find it's hard to reach out. I personally just reach under water and grab it. And it automatically will lock. You'll hear it. That's it. So once that pin's in there, it's secured, it's locked, and you're ready to load it. Hey guys, I hope that was informative. I hope that helps you feel confident to install this on your own. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. And uh, if you want to see some of our other products, you can go see them at www.dingydavits.com.